Looking to learn more about weightlifting? Welcome to an amazing sport. If you clicked on this video, chances are high that you're ready to take a plunge into the world of weightlifting, or at the very least, are curious to see if the pursuit is a good fit for you. The beautiful thing about weightlifting is that it's a pursuit that can accommodate a diverse population of participants. From seasoned athletes who have been competing in sports all their lives, to the average Joes and Janes who have little to no athletic background. While it's true that many lifters transitioned into weightlifting through sports like football, soccer, gymnastics, and CrossFit, there's an equally significant percentage of lifters who had no background whatsoever in any type of sport and simply were looking for a good reason to get off the couch. So whether you're itching to compete at some point down the line, or you are simply looking to stick to being a weight room warrior for the time being, the sport of weightlifting offers decades of fulfillment to those who have an appreciation for honing a craft. And that's leaving out any mention of the obvious physical, physiological, and psychological benefits to weightlifting style training. So you're now motivated to give weightlifting a go, but where do you begin? For starters, you're going to need a place to train. And you might be thinking, well, that's easy, I'll just train at home. And if that's the case, just sit tight for a few, because we're gonna cover home gym training experience in just a little bit. For now, let's consider some of the other options. First, let's look at your run-of-the-mill Globo-style gym. Think Planet Fitness, Gold's Gym, Lifetime Fitness, places like that. Commercial gyms can be very hit or miss in their accommodations for a weightlifting population. On the bright side, the growing popularity of strength sports over the years, big thanks to CrossFit for making weightlifting more mainstream, has made equipment like Olympic barbells, bumper plates, and weightlifting platforms more commonplace in your average commercial gym. While these types of facilities can be a decent temporary option for getting started in weightlifting if you are on a tight budget or are located in an area with limited access to gyms, a more ideal situation would be to find a club that specializes in weightlifting style training. The easiest way to do this would be to go to the USA Weightlifting website and to use the find a club feature. This tool allows you to enter in your location and gives you a list of nearby registered clubs within a radius of your choosing. You can rest assured the gyms that appear on this list will have access to proper weightlifting equipment, have knowledgeable coaches that can guide you through your weightlifting journey, and will have a community that is absolutely fanatical about the sport of weightlifting. Now, this being said, you might still be interested in doing some or all of your training at home. Garage gyms have experienced a boom over the last few years and are surely a convenient way to train. If this is the route you're looking to go, you're gonna to want to make sure you have adequate space to train. While a competition weightlifting platform is four meters by four meters, or about 13 feet by 13 feet, most training platforms are cover about an eight foot by eight foot footprint. And so that's the, about the minimum amount of open floor space that you're gonna to wanna to have in order to set up in the home gym. Now, for safety's sake, a couple extra feet on you know, the front, back, and sides of the platform is gonna be a good idea if possible. Also important to consider is ceiling height. Since both the snatch and the jerk involve the completion of the lift in an overhead position, you're gonna wanna make sure you can reach your arms fully overhead with barbell in hand without hitting the ceiling. If you're of average height, you might be able to get away with a basement gym if your house's newer construction has a little higher ceilings. If you're six feet tall or over that though, you're most likely gonna have to move your home gym into the garage in order to have enough overhead space. Or you can move your setup outside if you live in an area much warmer than New England. While we will take a more detailed dive into equipment options at a later time, 
At the bare minimum, you're gonna need a barbell and some bumper plates. In weightlifting, a men's bar weighs 20 kilograms or 44 pounds. So you can consider a 45 pound bar to be equivalent. And a woman's bar weighs 15 kilograms or 33 pounds. And if you're going for the pound option for the woman's bar, it's most likely gonna be a 35 pound bar. Now, there's a lot of other options with barbells to consider. You know, there's bearing bars versus bushing bars. Uh, in weightlifting, generally in competition, you're gonna be using a bearing bar. Um, what that basically means is the sleeves are gonna spin really, really well. Whereas a bushing bar, not gonna have as much spin to it. For training purposes, you can use either one, especially if you're just getting started. So just kind of choose a bar that fits your budget in that regards. Um, there's also different options like center knurling versus no center knurling. The center knurling helps provide support when you're doing things like back squat, so it'll just give your better grip. Um, but another thing to consider there is that it's also more abrasive on the skin. So if you're doing like a clean or front squat, sometimes that can be kind of aggravating on the neck. So that's just a little something to consider when you're looking at the center knurling versus no center knurling. There's also the thickness of the bar. For a men's bar, uh, 28 is the competition, 28 millimeters is the competition size. Uh, for the women's bar, 25 millimeters is the competition side. You wanna do your best to avoid getting too much thicker than that for weightlifting purposes. But again, having a bar is better than no bar. So, you know, you do what fits your budget for now. Some other equipment that you wanna look into, getting some collars for the bar is a great idea. You're obviously gonna need some plates. Bumper plates are preferred to metal plates, right? So the bumper plates protect the weight and protect your flooring. Um, so if that's you know something that fits your budget, you're definitely gonna wanna go that route. You can get a PVC pipe, five foot PVC pipe from any local hardware store. And there's also something called like a training bar, which is a lighter bar that weighs maybe 10, 15 pounds. Those are great options for doing mobility drills and kind of going through your warm ups, so you can rehearse the lifts without uh, having to worry about using too much weight. A lifting platform can be built using a couple sheets of plywood and some rubber flooring. Horse stall mats are a great option. You can actually buy them from a local tractor supply um, or other similar vendors. And although that's technically all you need for essential equipment to get started in weightlifting, if you have it within your budget for some type of squat rack or power rack, that's gonna allow you to do um, a lot of different lifts. You know, obviously your, your front squats, your back squats, um, any type of pressing and, you know, which can be done if you don't have a rack, but the rack definitely makes things, uh, weightlifting training more convenient for sure. And at this point you may be thinking, what about shoes, belts, wraps, things like that? Don't I have to accessorize to uh, really play the part of a weightlifter? And all that stuff we can get into at a later time. Um, and if you are planning on competing at some point down the line, you're definitely gonna need to invest in a singlet and a good pair of weightlifting shoes. Now that we have all your equipment needs squared away for the time being, the next obvious question is, how do I know if I'm even physically ready for weightlifting? That of course is a great question that deserves its own detailed explanation. However, even if you are adamant about the at-home training option, I highly suggest you take advantage of the USA Weightlifting Find a Club feature. That way you can get connected with a coach who can take you step by step through the weightlifting process, even if you're training at home. There's also a lot of other great information about weightlifting that goes far more into detail to the topics we discussed today on the USA Weightlifting site. So make sure you take advantage of that for sure. Even if you don't have access to any weightlifting gyms in your area, Many gyms offer remote training options just like ours does. Well, nothing compares to the benefits of hands-on in-person coaching. Taking advantage of online training options will far and away accelerate your progress in comparison to training at home on your own. Remember, you don't have to go in alone. Well, that's it for now. It's time to get off our phones or our computers and into the gym. Questions are bound to come up as you embark upon your journey into weightlifting. So be sure to let us know how to help with any challenges that you encounter along the way. Happy training.